Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Choose Your Own Cave Adventure Part 3. And we're going to go down to the third floor of the game. You climb down to the depth. You are slightly hurt. Taking in your surroundings, you notice the following things. You see the passage up, a subterranean lake and a crystal formation. There's an item here, mushroom, a fist-sized brown mushroom. You know the kind, it's edible. To the east you see a tight cramped passageway, to the north you see a tight cramped passageway. You hear low moan and some low shuffling sounds. You hear a low moan and some slow shuffling sounds again. To the west you see a broad washed out hallway. You notice the echo of a large room. You hear something clanging chains, growling and howling like a huge crazed dog. You hear low moan and some slow shuffling sounds. Okay, this this um, this now has uh, higher tier monsters. Um, and um, we are talking zombies and werewolves here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our inventory and we're going to drop the sword, leave the inventory, pick up the mushroom. Oh, there's a zombie here. Return arrives from the north. Um, there's a terrible creature with you in this cave. You see what looks like a human corpse that with those wounds should be dead by any means. It apparently isn't and with eyes that look right past you as it staggers towards you. There are following items here, mushroom and all that stuff. The sword we just dropped and so on. Um, we're gonna pick up the mushroom and eat the mushroom while the zombie attacks us. But we have shield and uh, the armor, so um, I just hope it doesn't hurt us. The returner stumbles forward, flailing its arms ineffectively. Um, so we eat the mushroom, which heals us, and there's another zombie that comes. Uh, well, from the west, um, we're gonna pick up the sword. And um, they flail their arms ineffectively. We could try to fight them, actually. Um, so we cautiously attack the returner. You stab at the beast hitting on the air, but they also stumble forward, flailing arms ineffectively, both of them. Um, we're going to cautiously attack again. We hit only air. They hit only air. It's it's terrible. It's really terrible. I think I think um, the, the amulet we're wearing might be... Uh, the amulet of the pacifist which uh, gives us a malus on attack but a uh, bonus on defense so they can't hurt us we can't hurt them so what we're going to do is um, we're going to drink some water while the zombies are attacking us and then we're going to go west and there's a shackled werewolf you make a run through the darkness the return attacks you yeah whatever uh, you see some stalactites of a, a vaulted ceiling and a crystal formation there is a terrible creature with you in this cave you see a large upright standing wolf mighty chains for chains forged to its wrists chain the huge wolfman to the very rock in this cave it cannot leave and who knows how long time it has spent here has obviously driven it insane to the east you see a broad washed out hallway you hear low moan and some slow shuffling sounds to the north you see a twist tunnel we go north we don't go back to the zombies and it worked. The shackled werewolf attacks you. Uh, you. In the twisted tunnel, you manage to lose the creature. We go north, and um, you see a ta passage down to the south. You see a twisted tunnel. You notice the echo of a large room, and you hear the clanging of chains and vicious growling and barking. So we climb down further to level four. And there's not much here, apparently. Taking your surroundings, you notice the following things. You see a passage up. Into the west, you see a steeply sloped passage. You hear something clanging chains, growling and howling like a huge crazed dog, another werewolf. And there's a rushing sound. We go west. There's two of them here. You see a waterfall. There are several monstrous abominations here. You see a shackled werewolf. You see another shackled werewolf. And um, let's go... Um, let's go west, because we... We feel an air draft from there. But, oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> As you attempt to enter the passage, a spider beast comes upon you, forcing you back. Um, spider beasts are also chasing you down like the, the red hounds do, but they are much more dangerous. Um, you see a flurry of gray hairy legs the size of a calf or a large pig. You cannot see the body of the thing, but the thing moves quickly, and the legs end in rather sharp singular claws. Um, we go try again to go west. And, uh, well, the mass of legs starts flailing about aimlessly as the creature topples over. Oh, the monsters are fighting each other. So let's, go on, let's, let's read this out. The spider beast attacks the shackled werewolf. Legs strike out in different directions as the spider beast punctures flesh. The shackled werewolf attacks you. It can't follow you through the cramped tunnel. The shackled werewolf attacks the spider beast. That's the other one. The werewolf's huge claws rip fresh flesh and it snaps its huge jaws, tearing skin and flesh. The mass of legs starts flailing about aimlessly as the creature topples over, rolls about a bit, and then stops moving altogether. 
you go west. And this is the floor in the part of this cave is covered with various bones of animals and even humans. You also see a deep chasm, some paintings on the walls. There are the following items here. Shield, and the rack armor, and um, another shield. And to the west you see a slight tight cramped passageway and we hear fast and irregular clicking noises. That's the fight between the werewolves and the spider beast. We hear the clanging of chains and vicious growling and barking and there's a rushing sound. And we see a uh, twisted tunnel to the north. So what we're going to do now is we can search the strewn about bones for loot. Um, but we find nothing. So we keep going west. Now, center of the room here is the wooden post standing upright and a bit of taller than you are. The top of it has been crudely carved to resemble a face. One of the ancient gods, you presume. There's an item here, an amulet. A leather strap holding a piece of amber. Another amulet and uh, a shrine. Praying at the shrines can have various effects, some of them good, some of them bad. Um, I'm just going to do it. Um, you kneel at the strange shrine. Fatigue overwhelms you. When you wake up again, you are lying on the floor. You are really thirsty. You realize there's an amulet around your neck that wasn't there before. The one you wore before lies on the floor. You hear echoes of something hiding somewhere in the cave. That's the werewolves. And um, yeah, we're still at the shrine. So what can we do now? We can... Um, we are very thirsty. Um, we're gonna go into our inventory. We're gonna drop the sword. We're gonna get the water bottle from our pack. And we're gonna drink the water. And then we're gonna put the water bottle away again and pick up the crucifix, I think. Yeah, that was one. We're gonna um, try to wear the, the crucifix. Um, yeah, I'm already wearing an item, so we're gonna drop, drop the amulet. Um, gonna try to take off the golden amulet. We can take it off. That's a good thing. Um, but let's keep wearing it. Let's see what happens. Um, pick up the sword, and then we go north. Um, there's a crystal formation here, and see a twisted tunnel to the east. We keep going, and we are forced to go into in a, in a circle here. That's not good. Um, that means we have to go back to the werewolves, go past them, and go back again. Go north. We are hurt. That's not good. But we climb down further, and we keep going to floor five in the next part of this let's play.